I have chronic pain and at times this is severe, but this is managed with opiates. I know the general public has a very perverted view of opiates because they think street addiction, heroin, drug smugglers. However, if prescribed correctly by doctors in the right dose for your height and weight and you manage it well yourself, I haven't increased my dose of 80 milligrams of morphine in the last 18 years. So that's a fairly good illustration that, no, you don't double it every 10 minutes the way the general public think. And also, it's very well looked after by the government. I have to present myself to my GPs, who all get to know me very well every 30 days, and they have to phone Canberra to have authorization, and I get my monthly dose of opiates to keep me going for the next lot. I should say one more thing about theory. It's, a, it's great to discover theory, but there, the, the, you have to lose a lot. And you may have noticed, or maybe you didn't, well, how much you lose. Partly, you don't notice it much, because here at the university, everybody's dedicated to theory. And what is, what's left out is uh, perception, because you, you use your mind, not your eyes. Skill, you're not supposed to have to have any particular uh, sort of bodily kind of skills. There's a kind of mental thing, but I'm not, let's not call that skill. I mean, I'm just calling skill the way you cope with everyday stuff that you use and so forth. Intuition, it's not fair to have intuition. I mean, you could have intuition, but it's not, it's not theory. It's not something that everybody has to believe until you can put it into language and argue for it. Gets rid of emotions, the body, tradition, 